before getting into today's video, I do want to say that the sun is all over the place. It's on my chest right now, so I'm sorry for that, but at least it's sunny for once. Another thing that I want to mention is that any product that I talk about, or if I do talk about a product in this video, there will be links provided down below in the description box. I wanted to put that out there because I know a lot of people forget that there is a description box. So you guys can just click that and you will see all the links that I talk about, along with some additional coupons as well. Free samples. Whether they're from a beauty store, um, a perfume store, Free samples is the greatest minimalist hack and I feel like this is one hack that will never get old and this is something that I used to do when I became a minimalist and I mean I don't think I've ever talked about this on the channel but we all know or most of us know that when you go to Sephora I don't know if Ulta does it but I know Sephora does like free samples to try out different beauty products if you do not want to buy the full size you can just try out that product and see if you want to spend the money on you know a certain makeup item but when I became a minimalist, I kind of stepped away from makeup. So the one thing that I was spending my money on back then was perfume. In order for me to stop that bad habit of purchasing perfume all the time and having a perfume collection like I used to have, what I did was obviously I waited until I used everything and whatever gave me a headache, I would give away. And when I was empty with perfume, I went to Kohl's or the mall. And you know how they have those little um, perfume strips where you can, it's like a piece of paper and you can spray the perfume on it. That's technically a free sample. And what I used to do was spray whatever perfume that I liked and that didn't give me a headache and that was expensive, too expensive for me to buy. I would spray that perfume on that strip, take it home or place it in my closet or just place it wherever my clothes were. And what that did was make my clothes smell like I actually purchased that perfume. So it was a little free sample hack and that little method works till this day. It just saves you so much money, it saves you so much space and if you end up liking that product, then you can go out and purchase it. If you really, truly need it or like it, then you know that, all right, I'm not gonna waste my money because I tried it out and I loved it. Drying racks are your friend. This way you're saving money both ways. Now, if you live in an apartment building like me and either you have to go to the laundry mat or you have a washer and dryer in the apartment complex where you just share it with a bunch of tenants, that's the, the method that we're in right now. But my entire life, I went to the laundry mat. I did not have the luxury of having a washer and dryer at home. So, of course, with going to the laundry mat or even paying for washer and dryer here, it's two dollars and quarters. We're still old-fashioned here but it's a lot of money and to dry your clothes it adds up so in order to save the longevity of your clothes and save you some extra cash drying racks have just been a huge help in hand I've been air drying everything since 2017 around there and it has changed how I look at wasting money with drying clothes. The only thing that I will think of drying, and that's usually on like a delicate load, is the comforter. And that's only because we don't have enough room here to air dry it. And the same method goes if you have a dryer at home. If you have a dryer at home, your electric bill must be high. Trust me, my sister complains about it all the time on how she dries all her clothes and she swears that's what's making her electric bill so high because she does at least two to three loads of laundry a day because she does have a family of four. What I told her to do is to purchase some drying racks and see how that turns out with air drying. Not all the clothes because I know she has a large family, but air drying like half of the clothes and just see how low your electric bill will go. Probably will go around 40 to $50 lower, but hey, that's 40 to $50 extra in your bank account instead of in your electric bill sharing toiletry items. This goes for people that have roommates, anybody that you live with, even if you live with a sibling. This goes for people that live with other people. And this is something that I learned when I started to live with my boyfriend back in 2020. And what I did to save some money and bring our toiletry bill down is that we use these same products basically for everything. We use the same face wash, we use the same shampoo and conditioner, the same hair mask, even though we have two different hair types. And so his hair is very curlier than mine, but for some odd reason, the shampoo and conditioner that we use works so well for both of us and we've been using it for a little over a year and has saved us a ton of money instead of going out and purchasing 
shampoo and conditioner for him, shampoo and conditioner for me. It's just an extra bill and you're wasting extra space in the house. So in other words, you're downsizing your basic needs in the house, which will make you spend less money and you'll have more space. Like I said, we use the same shampoo, conditioner, face wash, lotion, toothpaste, floss, um, mouthwash, and laundry soap. I know a lot of you guys are gonna like question the whole like mouthwash and floss. The floss we get, it comes in like a little package thing and we just take it off what we need. Um, and then with mouthwash, we use um, zero waste mouthwash. Reusable items are a game changer. I know you guys are probably sick of me talking about this and I'm sorry, but I just gotta talk about it one last time. I mean, let's be real, it probably won't be the last time, but. I am obsessed with reusable items. You guys probably already know this by now. I just can't stop talking about them because they help out so much with lowering your bills for everything, helping out the environment, creating less waste, and they're just an overall, great thing to have in your home. Switching over to reusable sponges to wash dishes, um, reusable paper towel rolls, shower curtain. There's just so many reusable items in our home that if I name them all, we will be here for days. I will have all the reusable items that I own linked down below if you wanna check out that list. But this is one of the greatest minimalist life hacks that I have ever, ever learned. By just switching over to reusable items, you could be saving yourself thousands of dollars, especially if you have a family of five or six or four, you could be saving yourself more than thousands of dollars. And it's just insane on how much waste we create in the environment, how much money we waste every day on the main essentials in a household, such as paper towels, sponges, um, shower liners and um, those swifter pads like all of that stuff is so wasteful and you can cut that budget and cut that waste by just switching over to reusable items you can just wash it and I know a lot of people are saying well Kira then your you know your laundry bill is gonna go up the only extra money that we pay to wash our reusable items like the only thing I wash separate with our reusable items I should say is my period underwear those go by themselves so that's an extra two dollars but everything else, like the sponges, the reusable paper towels, all of that stuff goes either with our clothes. I mean, it's gonna get washed all at the same time. As long as our clothes are not delicate and stuff, everything gets washed in the same load, except for my period items. So we're not technically wasting more money or we're not spending more money on laundry. We're just adding something else into the laundry. So it's not that serious. And of course, I air dry all of our reusable items. So still saving money there. Wear slash keep the clothes you like. We all have purchased clothes that we like for one minute and hate the next. And then we'll just tuck them in the back of our wardrobe and forget about them. And then when it's time to declutter, we just get rid of them. So technically you just wasted, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks on a top and that money could easily go into your bank account instead of it going to, you know, a thrift store when you're donating things. So the biggest life hack when it comes to clothes is to keep and wear what you like. Do not buy things that are on trend. Do not buy things that, oh, well, I want a pop of color and I don't normally wear this color. I'll just buy it for a pop of color. If you don't normally wear a certain color, you're probably not gonna gravitate towards that color. So you might as well stick to a color palette that you prefer and that you feel comfortable in. You know, not just a spur of the moment color or a spur of the moment outfit because everybody else is wearing it or you see that, oh, well, you know, it looks good on her, it might look good on me. Next month comes and your receipt expired so you can't return it. So it's just best for you to purchase clothes that you like and wear the clothes that you like. So it seems like a simple life hack, but you really gotta think about how many clothing items do you own that you hate and you're just holding on just in case. Reduce your duplicates. This way you can kind of see where you wasted your money on. I have been there, I have purchased two can openers, I have purchased way too many butter knives. Like how many butter knives does a house need? Not 10, not even five, honestly, cause like, you don't really cut things with them, you just spread things with them. So when I got my first apartment, even though I was in the minimalist lifestyle, I was still very new to it. And I purchased a lot of duplicates. 
and I had to donate half of those duplicates. And what I did once when I realized that I purchased duplicates, I promised myself that I would never do that again. And if I'm at the store and I'm unsure if I own that item, then that purchase can wait. So think of that. When you're in the store and you see this amazing can opener and you're like, hmm, I don't know if I have that at home. Do we have a can opener? And you just wait on it instead of purchasing it right away. And then you get home and you're like, oh my God, I do have that same one from Christmas. Someone gave it to me. I do want to say this though. We do gravitate towards things that we already own because we like them. If you like the certain things that you own and you see them in stores again, you gravitate towards it because it's something that's very familiar. I know that happens with me with like beige sweaters or black sweaters. Like, oh, that looks so nice. I'm like, wait, wait. I already own one, what am I doing? So at the end of this video, go through how many duplicates you had and that will give you a little bit of a reality of what you wasted your money on with just impulse buying at the stores. Or if it wasn't impulse buy, it was probably something that was given to you and it's best to donate duplicate items because there's other people out there in the world that could use a can opener that don't have it or can't afford it. Or they can use a butter knife or, you know, they can use something that you have as just a backup and it's best to just share instead of hoard, in my opinion. Shop smarter. Now, I have talked about this a little bit here and there, but I wanted to add this into the minimalist life hacks because I feel like this could really help so many people and I will have links down below like always, but what I mean by shop smarter is if you're going grocery shopping, there's an app to help you save money for that. And if you're going to the gas station and you get a receipt, or if you go to get your eyebrows done, or any little place that gives you a receipt, there's an app that turns receipts into points, which points equals cash. Um, there's also apps like Retail Me Nods that can get you a coupon on whatever you need to purchase, whether it's a big or small item. This is not sponsored. I know this is gonna sound like a sponsorship. It's not. I wish, because these apps are just huge, huge money savers and it's something that I will never delete. And I delete apps constantly, but these apps I will never ever get rid of. So at the end of the day, this is a huge life hack for everybody that wants to save some extra cash. And there's so many other apps. If you just type into the app store, money saving apps, I'm sure a bunch of apps will pop up and you could just check the reviews to see if they're legit or not. So if you guys have downloaded these apps, let me know which one your favorite is down below. You guys already know my favorite is Fetch Rewards. So easy to use and it's beyond addicting. So like I said, I will have all of those links down below for you guys if you would like to check them out yourself. And I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next video.